I'm, I am living. I've taken into my home. I am now raising a so-called film student over here. Me and my girl, we adopted this lad right here. And in casual conversation, I just happened to uh, talk to him. He says, you know, Corey, I haven't seen a lot of things. I, I'm a film major, but I haven't seen any recent classics. Or old classics either. Right. I said, I, I cannot believe that you would bring your ass into my home, call yourself a man of the film, and you haven't seen... You haven't seen any Scorsese movies? You haven't seen a Quentin Tarantino film? Why'd you even, my girl said, why'd you even go to school? It was, it was film and media studies. I focused on the media. So that's like TV and you know, broadcasting, things like that. So I wanted to get into news journalism before. I wanted to get into film and all this stuff. So that was the, you know, the course I took. Yeah. <laughs> took, that. <laughs> took that course right off a of cliff, didn't you? <laughs> Why do you think I had to drive all the way to Texas to get a job here? Well, you, you know what? Here's the thing. What's up? Wasted all that goddamn money. I know. And now you're about, now you about, you're getting paid to have an education now. Yes. I'm about to educate you. People, we're going to do some things here. Once or twice a month, I'm going to make this boy watch a classic film. And I'm going to watch it, too. Yeah. If, it's, if it's something I haven't seen in a while, I'm going to watch it, too. Martin is so tired. You're looking at the skin. <laughs> <See that? laughs> Martin, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you just, just real quick. Sure, sure, just real sure, quick. Sure, just let me sure, get into it. Because, sure. you know, you, you, you have a place here for this right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because I said, you know what? This weekend, we changing that. Mm -hmm. You haven't even seen Purple Rain. I hadn't seen Purple Rain. And I told this boy, I said, you do not come up in my home. Purple Rain is one of my favorite films. You do not come in my home and tell me that you have not seen this motion picture. You will not leave in Texas until you have seen it. People, the 1984 classic Purple Rain, especially timely right now since the passing of Prince. And during my time, this was the summer blockbuster. Prince in his first motion picture. Before he created the music, he lived every bit of it. You know something? I watched this movie almost daily when I was a kid. My mother bought the VHS tape. <laughs> oh, right, you're saying. Yeah, yeah, my mother bought it. <clears throat> and I think she bought it just to rub it into my dad's face. I tell you, every woman in my house, my sister, my mother, I think, wanted to fuck Prince. <laughs> Whenever my father and her got into an argument, she just pop on purple rain, <laughs> set up that rubber crotch. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, little did you know, the the vacuum cleaner that he fucked was purple. So. It was purple. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was when I was through it. <laughs> but, but uh, you know the, I watched this movie all the time when I was a kid, and and I hadn't seen it in years. The last time I saw this movie, and I'm not bullshitting you, the last time I saw this movie was probably 20 years ago. And I, and the story behind that, do you remember that time I told you that uh. I, I I took this girl to San Antonio, and she had a kid. Oh yeah, I remember that story. Yeah, I took I took this girl to San Antonio, and she had this kid. Don't and, uh, give up. <laughs> yeah, got she, a reason. To she live. kept playing this song, and she got drunk off of tequila, and she passed out. And when I took her home, her baby was still, you know, was still awake and crying. And I had to get the neighbor to help me. And the neighbor thought I had date raped her. Oh. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Date raper then ask the neighbors for help. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Okay. Well, the, but before that, that uh, that faithful trip to San Antonio, I watched Purple Rain with that girl, and that's why I watched that shit since. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, make, yeah. Make, it feels like it's bad luck. It feels like it makes me feel like I'm a like I'm like I'm a like I'm a date rapist right. or something. Bad taste in your mouth. Yeah, but that. but this uh, so I I haven't you know it's been a while. So I'm become, I, I'm almost watching this movie new, mm -hmm. and it's a totally different fucking film than I remember, man. Right, man. You know, and I and I can only imagine uh, 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 what's your name again, uh, Sammy. <laughs> I can only imagine. I can only imagine Sammy. I can only imagine how this movie was. Especially being out of its time, how right. it is for you, yeah, completely so, out of context. So, so Martin, he got mad at me for saying I don't watch movies because I already, you know, prejudged them, and I thought I did it this time, right? Oh, I don't need to see it. What I saw, I, I like to call it a uh, spousal abuse, the musical, <laughs> because <laughs> all it is literally is Prince or Prince's daddy beating the shit out of some woman. It, that, yeah. And then with music thrown in between. Man, it was so much crazy shit in like, this film that I didn't remember. <laughs> you know, and it and it's it's. The movie, it's a bad film. It's a bad film that just paces itself right with music. Right. Yeah, okay. Go ahead. Well, I was going to say, I remember seeing it when it came out. And everybody has already talked about it. So mm -hmm. I'm like a week or two late to go see it. And I'm yeah, going to see yeah. it by myself. And yeah, I was struck by how 
what a bad movie it was. Except every time it would cut to the musical numbers, it would blow my mind. Yeah, it would yeah, blow it your like a, mind. It was like a reset button. Yeah, it was yeah. like, that was bullshit. Oh, Boy. shit, this is awesome. It yeah, really is like I described it. I remember joking around back in the day. I said, it's a, it's, it's a movie about two bands with shitty attitudes. Right. Fighting each other over nothing. Morris Day in the over time. Over one chick. Over nothing. Uh, uh, Prince, oh. it, Prince and Morris Day fighting over a- Apollonia. But I mean, call me late to the fucking train. But Apollonia, oh my god. Oh, yeah. oh, my, oh god. my god. Oh my yeah. god. I am. Finest. Call me late to call me late to the party. Oh, but fuck, uh, holy man. shit! I, now I'm like, where was I? It I was, was not even born yet. But where yeah, was yeah, I? Yeah, it was, why they were fighting over. Oh yeah, yeah. it was Prince. Yeah. the music it was totally believable. And Apollonia's titties, man. You <laughs> know, it's totally what? believable. You're talking about two guys fighting over you know, a girl. That's the only person I would believe it. <laughs> but you know what I recognize about this? How did you feel about the acting in this movie, man? The acting was bad. But by the time I realized I hated it because it was bad, they played another musical number. So I was like, it doesn't matter. These guys what are, are all musicians. I, I was blown away by how bad the acting was. Oh, yeah. you see. <laughs> there was some parts where you could you knew people either worked with Prince and his band or they were friends because these people were acting like high schoolers, man. There was one scene where Prince was talking to this girl. I think she was one of the keyboardists in his band. Mm-hmm. She got him, uh, He got her to play a, a waitress in the movie. I think that's her. But both of them in a the scene together is the worst shit I've ever seen. <laughs> hey, wait. I've got something for you. What, a subpoena? It's a song Lisa and Wendy wrote. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a terrible line. It's like an instructional video for like Wendy's or some shit. Hey, I got this burger for you. Oh, really? Let me see it. Is it made up to our quality standards? I don't know. You're right. <laughs> like, is he teaching me how to rock and roll in this movie? What is Man, this? But you know the, the so, some, there was. Go ahead. What you okay, say? I'm just saying. So beyond the world and stuff like that, uh, real early in the movie, can we go to the scene with uh, Morris Day being established as the villain? Man, talking about the trash can. Yeah, thing. so so Morris, so Morris Day, I I know his music, you know, as equally as I do Prince. Yeah, and so I'm like, okay, he's the bad guy in this movie. Like, so now I started thinking of other scenarios. Like, okay, if Michael Jackson was a star, who would be the the evil person going against him in his movie? You know, I started thinking of all sorts of like alternate universes, like ACDC versus you know Led Zeppelin or some shit like that. It, so yeah, they, it, you know, it's funny here <laughs> because Corey Goodwin watched it the other night. Mm-hmm. And we came and talked about it. He said, man, if you really think about it, this is a movie about Batman the Joker. Yeah, you know because yeah, Prince is all he's all solemn and dark and everything. Yeah, and Morris Day is all cackling and 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 he does some Joker shit in that scene, man. man. Oh yeah, that's some thuggish. Like, Here's the thing about the movie: the movie it's the '80s. It's one of the sexist and it's, and, 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 and homophobic. You, Oh. It is not a very PC film. Oh, not at Morris all. Morris Day is such a villain in the movie that he threw a bitch in a trash can. <laughs> like, <laughs> you think people you mean are he thugs? Threw a woman I'm sorry. A, no, 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 no. He called her a bitch in the no, scene. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. That's what he called her. Yeah. No, look, 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 at this. Look, look at the scene right here. I mean, complete with cackling and everything. <laughs> You gave me everything last night. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go. Oh, no, that ain't classy enough. I want the bitch to come to me. I'm the only star in this town. Morris Day, who do you think you are? You know I waited up all night for you? I'm so tired. Look at this. And she's trying not to laugh. <laughs> she's trying not to laugh. Did you see that shit? Uh-huh. <laughs> I, I noticed that the first time I saw it. And so did I. And look at his face. He's and like, look at Morris Day. I mean, he's a, he, he's acting overacting with his eyes. It's a it's amazing, <laughs> the, the, the shit here. Look at this girl trying not to laugh, man. <laughs> You are. You know I waited up all night for you. I'm so tired of you. Goddamn Jerome. Morris. <laughs> Damn. And, and, and put the lid down. Put the lid down. Like, uh, yeah, like waiting, for, like waiting for the truck to come pick her up. I was like, this is in the first ten minutes of the film. What the fuck is gonna go on that after this? That would never this? fly nowadays. Never. No, no not it at would all. not. It would not. I'm just, what's funny is that when I saw this, I imagined a bunch of people going to see it in theaters. Young people, like, I want to see what this whole Prince was about. See that shit and go home and tweet. This is the most sexist. Blah, blah, blah. Like pissed oh. off. Oh, t- about like today? Oh, yeah. The Mary, people today, the Mary yeah. Sue would be all over that yeah, shit. Yeah, people today, like, going to see it this weekend in honor of Prince, right? Like, because the AMC but released it's a product all of, of his time, so people would, people would be complaining about this, man. Again, to put some Batman shit in there and to show you how, like, almost homophobic the movie was, there's a scene where uh, you have Morris Day. He's in an alley, and he hears a motorcycle. Oh. And you know Prince is coming. He's coming in like a yeah. superhero. <laughs> And it's and I mean it's played out like the like Batman is about to drop from the ceiling. Stop! Stop! Motherfucker! You long hair faggot! <laughs> 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 oh, 
I mean, I feel bad because back in the day, we used to quote that. We used right. to call each other that. You're long hair, faggot. But the funny thing is that he calls him a faggot. But he says in the most homosexual type voice, <laughs> Yeah, fucking faggot! Oh, I know, that's where you went. Stop! Stop it, please! Well, yeah, since he's, he's, he's overly coiffed, he's got guy liner on. He's talking about how his hair got messed up when he got knocked in the box. Yeah. White chair, cream yeah. color suit. He got his hair all permed and shit. Yeah. Wearing his jacket over his, over his shoulders <laughs> and shit. I mean, you're the last one to be calling somebody a faggot, right? man. That's the thing. He, but you know what? He was taking notes today. One of the things that I never questioned, I never questioned how Prince was a 26-year-old drag queen living with his parents. <laughs> he was he, he, he was uh, coming home on, on a badass motorcycle right. in the middle of the night. And even when he had friends over, he, it, was, it was so high school mm -hmm. that even his girlfriends had to come through the window. Right. <laughs> you know <what> <laughs> Apollonia had to yeah. creep in and have a date with him and shit. Because <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the first thing I did is, how old is he when he made this movie? Because he's living with his parents. And I was like, okay, maybe he's still doing you know, 20, 21, 22. He was 26 years old. If you're able to have a badass purple motorcycle and right. buy the, all that makeup every week, hair gel and shit, you can afford to get your own yeah, place. Yeah, get your right. own place. There, there was also... A possible explanation. I'm not mm -hmm. saying this is it. But it was a whole thing where his, his father was very abusive to his mother. And mm -hmm. it was like he was living there to kind of yeah. take to, care of her. Yeah. It seemed like she was sick. Man, or there's you, something going on with her. Martin, yeah. you know what? That's a great point. Because his father went off. His father was raw. I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, you know, so a, a deeper theme in this movie, which doesn't seem like it could have one, was that, you know, as abusive as he is to Apollonia and everybody, you got to see that his father was that way. And it was yeah. just a cycle of That violence. was actually one of the cool things about the movie. You saw mm -hmm. the, the cycle being passed down to him. Yeah. There are some, like, really good moments in the movie. But, yeah. but some, some people call this shit Prince's greatest hits because every scene, <laughs> oh, somebody would get smacked <laughs> the fuck out. And his, <laughs> Martin mentioned that scene yesterday. I love it. When Prince's daddy just knocked him across the room, <laughs> into knocked him to another, to, <laughs> exactly. a, like, to, the, to the neighbor's house almost. <laughs> And you're not like you're not joking. Like when oh, you yeah. said, because you said it, like he knocked him to the next room. I was like, he didn't knock him that hard. No, he flew. He, he went slid, to the slid. next room. He almost <laughs> crawled knocked up Prince. the wall. Oh shit! He almost knocked <laughs> Prince back to his bedroom, man. Yeah. That mother was about to pull up the covers and go to sleep. And shit. <laughs> Do you hear me, mom, dad? You keep this place clean. Yeah. Please, dad, she's heard you. He wants to kill me. He's crazy, dad. Look what please. he's doing. Get your purple ass off me. Boom. <laughs> Uh, next room. <laughs> next room. <laughs> Stop this shit. That motherfucker just woke up on the toilet and said, "What the fuck?" And, uh, <laughs> like get to the breast. I know. You look at his neighbors. Hey, yo, get <laughs> you know it's it's funny too because even I think that was Clarence Williams the third uh -huh, from who, the Mod Squad. From the Mod Squad, who plays crazy great. I think he really hit the fuck out of Prince because even if you look at the scene, even Prince is like. like the fuck? <laughs> he's, like, he's like getting conscious back. He's like, oh shit. You fired. <laughs> he's like, get up. Yeah, get your, get your pirate ass up. <laughs> he's like, God <laughs> damn. <laughs> get your pirate ass up. Yeah. yeah, he got purple birds going around his head and shit. <laughs> Doves. <laughs> Doves, yeah. That's when that's what he wrote when, when Doves cry. <laughs> shit, I mean, there's that scene where he hit his mom. He stiff armed his mama. When they ran to Prince's room, she's trying to get some protection. Sleep in his house. You're always sneaking around. You're a goddamn sinner. Shut up. You don't care about me. Don't I keep the heat on? I don't like it here. You never talk to me. Dad, please. What's the matter with this house? That nigga did crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he was Samuel Jackson. That's a pro like Samuel Jackson. <laughs> yeah, brother. Tony <laughs> down with that. Yeah, man. Shit. <laughs> <Sid. laughs> Get this mother decaf <laughs> real quick. Where's the $20? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Simple question. He can just, don't I keep the, don't I keep the heat on? I love the way he just stretched words out, too. Right, right, right. That don't last for 15 minutes. Don't I keep the heat on? <laughs> What's the matter with this house? You're crazy. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, no, it literally pulls no punches, man. Yeah, yeah. Slapping the shit. There out was people. no elbow in that arm right mm -mm. there. Yeah, he he, he might have actually done it for real. Yeah. Oh fuck yeah. Clarence Williams is uh, the third artist. What's that his name? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, he that brother was uh he he was scary. When Prince casted that dude as his father, I mean, in, really, he had only one tone in the movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It was ah, <laughs> but he was right. and he was insane. Well, except for What's when the he matter was. What's the matter with this house? <laughs> you know, he was. I remember watching this and thinking, like, man, that was the that this was the movie that made me scared of that guy. 
Sure. Like, I've seen him in so many movies where even he's playing nice people. I'm terrified of him, man. Like you said, he was Samuel Jackson before Samuel mm-hmm. Jackson. Yeah. He, tell, like he would tell Samuel Jackson, you ain't shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm the original. <laughs> I provide for my family. I didn't say anything about your family, yeah. man. <laughs> it's, a, it's a really odd movie, a product, a product of his time. There are so many things that are bad in this. But, Martin, you were right. The moment that you start to, you start to look at the bad things, the movie knows how to pace itself. If you haven't seen it, watch it. The movie knows how to pace itself with the music. Because I was uh, noticing how even the movie bookends itself. It starts out with a great song, mm-hmm. and it ends on a classic. Yeah. Uh, it ends with Purple Rain. <laughs> well, it actually ends with uh, I Will Die For You. Yeah. Right. But this is like... Yeah, it's like I Will Die For You is the encore. It's the yeah. encore. But this is, the real, this, is the, this is the real ending of the movie right here. Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, for this whole stupid Battle of the Bands thing, they really they <laughs> nailed it right there. They sold it right there. Right. It's such a universe on, on its own that it still holds up. Like it's a product of the '80s, but because they created some like uh, like this fantasy '80s, right? Mm-hmm. I'm like, wow, man, this shit still holds up today. And that's why it worked for me because you know you can look at anything with nostalgia goggles, but it built them for me in there. You know, like I was <laughs> born in the '80s, but it's like came with them. this is what it's like, and I was like, okay, this is what it's like. I was able to accept it really quick, and once I was able to accept it, I was like, okay, cheesy acting, whatever. I kind of know, but I ended up really enjoying it. I really did like it. Um, as crazy as it was, as crazy as it got, it was fun. I liked it a lot. You know, you seeing this movie and now it's uh, it's it's such an '80s film. Mm-hmm. Uh, you talk about this whole thing about the quotes. You talk about how things have become pop culture in old films. Mm-hmm. Nothing is more pop culture. Nothing is more classic than this album right here. Right. So for you. Did that get in the way at all? No. As a matter of fact, since you know, I've heard Purple Rain, I've heard half these songs just in my you know, natural life. So I was like, oh, I like that song. Oh, I like that song. So it was just a treat for me like sure. without you know knowing what was coming up, which songs, which order, whatever. Uh, the last thing I'll say about this is that it was such a phenomenon <laughs> that the reason why you won't see something like this today, this swept all the awards out there. The Grammys, American Music Awards. It got best original song at the Oscar. You know, I mean, you're not gonna see anything like this for a long time. I'm not gonna say I'm never gonna say never. No, ne- never say never. But, mm-hmm. but this is. I mean, seriously, I mean, this is a truly blessed man right here. Well, yeah. I also remember when the when the movie came out um, back when Siskel and Ebert had their first show at um, uh, what was it called? You remember what their first at show? At the movies. Was? I, mean, I, I can't remember if it was uh, at the note. No, two white dudes. Uh, it, it, arguing it, on it, 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 had a, it, it had a different name. Wow, I can't believe we can't remember anymore. Siskel and Ebert at the movies? No, no, no. It wasn't even their name in it. But anyway, uh, I mean, it was the two of them, but it had a different name. But uh, Roger Ebert was losing his shit over it. He was like, man, this is the best movie. And Prince and Apollonia, they're going to be big stars in Hollywood. I see a big, a great future for them. Oh, man. <laughs> Y'all, man and I had just seen the movie. I was like, I don't know, dude. No, yeah. no disrespect to, to Ebert, but you, I can't tell you how many times his opinions were fucked. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can't tell you. I mean, I watched that show and I'm like, wow, who's listening to this dude? <laughs> Maybe someone paid him. Who knows? I remember, I remember he was reviewing a Return of Swamp thing and his argument. <laughs> I remember Siskel just looking at his ass. He, he said, you didn't like this movie? He's like, no. He's like, you didn't, you didn't like the, the Mad Scientist Laboratory? And he's like... No, what the fuck are you talking about? No. What am I, 13? No. But right. I have one last confession about Prince, though, just because I only found out like three days ago about it. I thought the song 1999 was made in 1998. No. Uh, oh, my God. No. I swear to God, guys. I'm sorry. And like, Because I thought, like, oh, you know, New Year's was happening. Then they played it all through 1999. Sure, sure. So I did. was obviously nine, eight, nine years I'm gonna old. I'm going to tell you something. Like, my mother thought that Forrest Gump was a true story. <laughs> My brother told her. My brother told her, "Don't ever leave that house and say, don't ever leave that house and say that shit right. to anybody." I'm gonna tell you the same thing. Don't, right. don't leave this room and tell that to anybody. Only. One time, I mean, he I was told everybody. Hey, people, I'm not ashamed of it. I really thought it was. I'm like, it's a good song. I like the song. I thought, like it's 1999. Hey. I was nine, man. All Come right. on, I was young. people are gullible. I thought that they. One time, this guy at work convinced me that they sell. Uh, they'll do oil ch- oil changes at half price books. <laughs> In there, and I was like, I had just moved here, and he was like, "Yeah, they'll do oil changes at half price books." And I was like, "Okay." So now, now I don't feel so bad about Prince. <laughs> I was, I was, I, I was switch. I just moved here. I didn't know if it was attached to a garage or something. I was about to tell you <laughs> to go easy on it, <laughs> and I was just gonna say something like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. People are gullible. 
Maybe don't look, I'm just hey, don't look at her for help. I know. She can't help you. Huh? She's looking at the only girl in the room. Help me. <laughs> don't look at her. She can't look at her. Hey. Maybe we'll miss. What is it about half price books that made you think you get an oil change because for your car? A, I'm new to the area. I just moved to Austin. This guy was like my only friend, so I knew he'd be truthful no, to me. It's not your friend. Five man, it's not your in, friend. No, and I thought it was like attached. Like a lot of owners own different things. Like they have a car place, they have a bookstore, they have a restaurant. So I just thought maybe it was hey, like. <laughs> that being said, if you had a bookstore next to somewhere you get an oil change, just waiting room. Maybe yeah, no, I, never mind. Books. No, I walked in. I was like, Ooh. <laughs> never mind. No, that's dumb. That's dumb. I love thinking that. I love ever. the chat right now. They're like, God damn, Daniel. <laughs> Martin, God damn. Coming. Martin, I'm like, somebody said, I'm, I'm so happy Martin stayed. <laughs> somebody said, I'm crying right now. <laughs> so I'm not tell anyone that ever. <laughs> <laughs> Mojo's like, no. She, she thought she could do it. <laughs> <laughs> you mother like, what the fuck? Corey. <laughs>